So ever since I was a little kid, um, I really wanted to learn how to box. Basically, right after I saw the movie Rocky. <laughs> Me and my brother used to uh, box each other. We had these, we had these these socks that um, had padding on the bottom, so we basically put them on our hands. Uh, we would layer ourselves with a bunch of like sweaters and stuff like that uh, for, for padding, and we would just start going to town and wailing at each other. I thought that was pretty cool. That was basically the extent of my boxing experience. Although I did go to the library and they had a fitness boxing video and I rented it so many times. Actually, it was, it was done by Dolph Lundgren. I don't know what the point of that story was. Um, I also wanted to do martial arts after I saw the movie Bloodsport. Um, me as an impressionable, like, I don't know, eight-year-old, watched a movie and I was like, man, I really want to learn martial arts. How did you do that? So there was somebody at our church, which if you don't know for, for Korean Americans, um, is a place where we all get together and hang out with other Korean families. That's basically the only exposure that you have to people who are also of Asian descent. Anyways, someone from our church uh, was a master, had, had a studio, so um, I took lessons there, had a blast. I think it was an excuse for my parents to um, <laughs> take a little break. So I got really, I actually got pretty good, I think, pretty fast. I, I got up to uh, a green belt, which is white, yellow, orange, green, which is the fourth belt that you can get, and then you get tested every three months. So let's see if I'm good at math. Four times three is, what happened was because uh, me and my brother fought so much, my mom said that um, we can no longer take Taekwondo. I, I think that's the right way to say it in Korean. Probably isn't. So I was kind of sad. <laughs> really wanted to start up again later on, especially in around like fifth grade or so. Um, I hung out with a, a group of friends who wanted to be ninjas. <laughs> true story and of course me being the only Asian clearly I have a ninja face I asked my dad and at that point uh, we started having a lot of financial stress so he wouldn't allow it so ha to all those people who say that all Asians know kung fu or taekwondo taekwondo anyways so for the longest time wanted a box never did MMA started coming out. I uh, wanted to learn that. Never happened. And I finally, last year, I joined the gym. And it's been great. It's been awesome. So I actually went to a class today, and I've been doing it for almost six months now. And it's crazy. It's crazy because there's so much ab work in boxing classes. And I remember my first class, uh, we did a plank. And literally, you know, you're holding the plank for about two minutes at the end of class. And literally my back started slouching to the point where it, my belly literally was hitting the floor because I didn't want to give up. Uh, my ab had absolutely no strength. Uh, I played football, basketball, and track in high school, and we used to do, especially in track, we used to do a lot of uh, sit-ups. And when I was in college, uh, one of my friends taught me a lot of these really crazy ab exercises because when you're in college, you gotta look good. Also, you had the time. But basically, I hated working on my abs, so much so that um, afterwards, I never did a single sit-up for about for probably over 10 years. So a lot of times, a lot of times our ab workouts, um, we put our feet underneath um, the heavy bag. Relax, pull yourself up, throw a nice two hooks. But I was using almost entirely my legs because my legs are stronger than my stomach. So basically I was overcompensating and my body was using my legs to push myself up, which defeats the whole purpose of doing ab workouts. So I was really like hard on myself. I like to make connections with things that I observe with like truisms in life. Basically, because my legs were so strong, 
it allowed me to complete these ab workouts. And even though I wasn't using primarily, prim, uh, prim, what was I talking about? Primarily my legs, so my abs were little by little getting stronger. As I was walking home from the gym today, I was thinking that's kind of true about life. A lot of us have strengths and a lot of us have weaknesses. A lot of people struggle with just focusing on their strengths and being afraid of their weaknesses because people don't like being bad at stuff. So I started thinking something in life in general is to be able to use your strengths, things that you're good at, to improve the things that you're not. So a quick example is uh, when I was tw about 27, I decided to make a career change into uh, graphic design and some, somehow I was able to get into a school in, in, in New York City and it was just terrible, terrible. But previously I had been an investment broker, so I used to make up like, you know, 50 to 100 phone calls a day. A whole firm's going nuts. Hold on, let me open up the door to my office. Looking back, um, I was able to kind of leverage that strength and a lot of the relationships that I had to be able to get a lot of work as a graphic designer. And because of that, just by, by utilizing the strength that I had, I was able to, to get better as a graphic designer because obviously the more you do something and the more you work in the business, the better you're going to become. So that's an example of using the strength to improve a weakness. So I think that's something that's true for ourselves, but it's also true from a group standpoint, is there are, there are other people who are better than us or, or have strengths that we don't have, and just to be able to go to those people and to say, hey, can you help me? And maybe they'll say no, maybe they'll say yes, but we want to use our own strengths to help other people in their weaknesses. And we wanna be drawn to people who have strengths that we don't have. So just a real simple idea. I know it's pretty, I think it's pretty obvious, but it just kind of really hit me today when I was doing ab workouts. So anyways, just wanted to share that and hope you have a great rest of the week.